Switching things up a little bit today, starting out with a little bit of a dialogue. Normally I start out driving something cool or we're out and about doing something, but today, today is a little bit different because we got something, something that I, I need to cover. Somebody sent me something really cool. Or I think it's cool. I, I'm not really sure. I haven't opened up the box yet. And when we do, um, we're going to try it out. We're going to try it out and we're going to experiment with it a little bit and see if it's all cracked up to date. You know what I'm talking about. But before we get into that, I wanted to, get, to bring you guys up to date on what's going on with the books because we had the shark book that just came out. It's doing gangbusters. It's doing fantastic. But what I'm really excited about, even even more than that, uh, that's coming in about a month, is the the Corvette book right here. The Corvette book. Uh, there's not a lot going on right now with this, um, but I have about 30 days to finish the drawings for this. But I'm I'm going to show you a drawing today. Hmm, what do you think about that? I've been hemming and hawing, going back and forth as to what. I really want the focus of this book to be in the types of drawings, and I think we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I think we're gonna have some, some excitement with this one. So I'm gonna show you the, uh, uh, well, there's two sketches in here, but I'm not gonna show you this one. I'm gonna show you the one that's gonna end up being the cover. In fact, maybe, I, I'm not, I might even show you the cover. Maybe. Well, I'm showing the cover right now, but it, this is the black and white version. This is a, the reason I, I chose this particular car, this this is a 58 that, uh, the reason I chose this is because Kathy had a 58 for a long time. His name was Leroy. Not sure why you would name your car Leroy, but that's that's what she had. Uh, she's had quite a few vets over the years, and there's a lot of you out there that are big vet fans. We're big vet fans. I'm a fan of just about any car that's got four wheels on it. Some have three wheels, it's fine. But this, this is going to be the cover. This is a 58 vet. Look at that, smoking hot, huh? I'm not sure who's driving. Could be me. Could be you. So this car is um, basically the cover. Let's take a look at how this transforms to the the cover, the color version. Let's start there and let's start to move up. Oh yeah, look at that. Is that cool? Yep, very colorful, very interesting. Gonna be uh, a very, very, very cool book. And there we have it. So that's the cover. That That's what's gonna be happening. The uh, the first people to get really excited about that is the Peterson Museum. Of course, they're they're carrying all the books now. They, they have basically, um, uh, they're basically excited every single time a, a book comes out. We're going to be doing some more stuff with them. So I was sent something uh, from um, uh, from a company that creates Hot Wheels products, Hot Wheels car care cleaning products. It's a box. Let's check it out. Here's the box. It's it's a pretty good size. You can see, and uh, there's nothing on the outside to indicate that there's anything in it that's um, indicative of. Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels car care products. But let's open it up and find out, see what, what it's all about. Use an X-Acto. Bing! Ah, okay. Car care products always come in a tub, I guess. Ooh, check it out. That's pretty cool. Check that out. It's a 
huge bucket. AmericanPro.com. It's uh, Hot Wheels car care products. So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna check out what's inside, and then we're gonna go through each and every item, and then we're gonna try it out and see if, it, if it's all it's cracked up to be. Does it live up to McGuire's? Does it live up to, um, what's that Huntington Beach company that does it? Surf, whatever that's called. And then about the you know the 50,000 other ones that are at Pep Boys that you can go get. So uh, this one comes in a bucket. That's pretty cool. This would make a great frisbee. This this looks fun. I want to play with that later. Oh, chamois. Not not too bad. There's a oh there's several. There's three three chamois that come in the bucket. Okay, that's good. Uh, that makes about three thousand chamois I have in the garage right now. Big sponge. Very nice. Uh, when you wash your car, this is always important. This this is nice. It's ergonomic. It cleans. You know, it does everything it needs to do. Um, good sponges are. No, those are necessary. The first item is this one. This is Epic Shine. Mm, I'm assuming that you would spray that on your car and get an Epic Shine. Like how this has an echo sound to it? Doesn't that sound cool? Clean, enhance, and protect. Uh, that's probably the one we're going to be using today. We're actually going to be using this on a car. Number two is, oh, Pro Tire Cleaner. Uh-huh. Pro Tire Cleaner. Thanks to Hot Wheels, you'll keep your tires nice and Number three is the Pro Tire Finish. So I guess there's something about this, uh, the Pro Tire Cleaner that doesn't finish what this does. Uh, number four is the all, all Wheel Cleaner. You know, the thing that goes inside, you know, have the tire on the outside and then you got the wheel inside, that metal thing that goes in there. That's what this does. This cleans that. Last thing is the wash and wax, of course, which is something that you, um, that, that's your initial thing. You can't clean the tires and the wheels and all that stuff until you wash your car first. So Epic Shine. This one is the first one we're gonna try. You ready? See how it's the nozzle. I need my glasses. Lots of people wonder exactly what a chamois is for. Is a chamois for when you when you wash your car and you're gonna dry it? Do you use a chamois? No! I'm glad you asked. You don't want to use a chamois for that kind of thing. Cham what? If you know what a chamois is, what's good for a chamois, leave it in the comments section down below because um, there's lots of really great reasons for this but this is a this is a polishing tool it's really a polishing tool it's for it's for um uh dust and it's kind of the last thing that you want to do uh when you uh when you clean your car you can use a big towel to kind of wash and take all the water off things like that but this this stuff is just nice and soft makes you want to have a chamois a chamois pillow doesn't it i don't really feel like going outside right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this epic shine and we're going to use it on something that everybody can understand and that is a Hot Wheels car. Now I have a, a very dirty, very old, uh, kind of a buckety looking uh, Speed Racer Mach 5. And uh, it does need some cleaning. Look how dirty the wheels are. It's got this black bottom. I think I did that with a Sharpie when I was a kid. And it's just, you know, it's just kind of dirty overall. So let's, uh, let's give it a spray. Well, it certainly smells really good. Wow. Wow. That's starting to really, that's, that's starting to really look, wow, this stuff is working really, wow, holy cow, look at this, look at that, that's freaking awesome, look how gorgeous that looks, it got all the dirt off, it got everything off, dang, I really like this stuff, plus it smells really good, all right, well, final, final say for the, uh, the Hot Wheels car care products, um, really great packaging, really nicely done there. Lots of uh, accoutrement, different kinds of things for your wheels and tires and for your overall epic shine, as this one says. Nice packaging, really good smell, and of course, it does the job well. Big thanks to the guys at Hot Wheels Car Care Products. Love the stuff, fully endorsed from the vlog. It's actually not an endorsement, they just sent me one bucket. I mean, if it was a real endorsement, they would send me like, 50 buckets or 100 buckets, but I like it. You know, I'm gonna use it and uh, a little bit, but then I'm gonna maybe hand it off to you guys. Mmm. Oh, that smells good. It's keeping me clean too. Hmm. Uh-oh. And the final bit of news uh, that we have coming up on the vlog, I think you guys are gonna be excited about. This week, uh, I'm gonna be having a special guest, uh, an actor, his name is Patrick Kilpatrick. He plays a bad guy. He's always playing the, uh, for the last, I don't know, 30 years playing a severely bad, bad guy. 
But it turns out that the bad guys are always the nicest guys. So he's gonna be here on the vlog. We're gonna have a, a drive up the coast. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna do that in a few days. And then next week, next week, uh, we're gonna have a, another special vlog. And it's another Patrick person. It's not uh, Patrick Kilpatrick, it's Butch Patrick. You know who I'm talking about? Butch Patrick from the Munsters. The little kid, any Munster, he's gonna be here and he's gonna be on the vlog. It's all for you guys. I'm super stoked, can't wait to meet these guys. We're gonna have a blast, lots of fun stuff coming. Stay tuned and be sure, friend me on Facebook. Thank you.